It's me, Charmaine. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys some things I think are essential for this new back to school year, considering like the whole pandemic and online school and all that stuff. I made a list of some things that I think are essential and I'm actually going back to school shopping literally tomorrow. So I had to make a list of things I needed to get. So I was like, oh, why don't I just make this into a video, like a back to school shopping list? Cause I've never had a full semester online like this before either. So it was like, there were things I figured I need to get. So I was like, let me just share them with you guys. Okay, so the first thing on my list is a desk. Obviously if you're living on res, um, your dorm should come with a desk like literally every dorm always comes with a desk but if not if you're living like off campus or if you're gonna be from home it is essential that you have a desk in your room no matter what you should have a desk even if you feel like you're like me and you're like oh I could do work in my bed I do work in my bed just fine I always say that but the thing is when you do work in your bed take in your bed is where you sleep your bed is where you watch netflix your bed is where you just relax so when you're in your bed doing work you're just one step away from falling asleep it's too comfortable and when you're doing work you shouldn't feel comfortable so that it makes you get the work done that's why you do work at a library because it's like a library is not comfortable but you're there because it feels like a working environment so you need that in your room like a desk that's like it's not the most comfortable place but at least that lets you know okay it's time to do work and then once i do the work i can get out of this uncomfortable spot and then go to my bed you know um the next one that might be a little obvious but i feel like it's still important to mention it is a laptop obviously for most post-secondary i feel like you need a laptop regardless like everything's online nowadays Days, but especially now with the whole corona it's like really important that you have a laptop because literally everything is online now well i mean some people have some classes in person but i personally don't so um i feel like a laptop is definitely essential my laptop is the macbook air so it was the one that they have for the student discount at apple and that's how i got my laptop um the next thing is i really hope you guys can't hear the blender right now because I can hear it and it's really bothering me. Um, so the next thing is something I'm actually getting, which is a printer. Um, I've never gotten a printer before because first year, second year, usually just use the printer on campus because it was like 10 cents per page. But now I'm going to be, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but I'm not going to be on campus. I'm going to be living at home, like home home because we have a printer but like the printer is connected to the main computer and i don't really feel like going there all the time i don't want to be blamed for like using up all the ink and all the paper because the stuff i have to print is obviously going to be a lot so i'd rather just have my own and be responsible for my own ink and my own paper so i feel like a printer is really important if you're on campus you'll probably have access to some main public printer like split with a roommate i feel like that's a good idea you guys can just get a printer and split it and then you guys can just split up like the paying for the ink and paper and all that stuff next thing is a whiteboard calendar i have one of these it's currently back at my apartment at school i'm moving on a literally a couple days i think i'm gonna vlog that let me know if you guys want to see that vlog let me know in the comments down below because i'm literally going in like two days to go move out but the whiteboard calendar i feel like is so important Basically, I just have a plain one. You can like write down the month and you can fill out um, the calendar. And what I always do with my calendar is I color code. So I have like red is test dates, blue is assignments, due dates, green is like extracurricular, purple's work. Like I would have all those. And then I fill out my calendar when this assignment's due, when I have this quiz, I have this meeting, I have this whatever. And I feel like it's really helpful because one, it can be changed monthly just because you can just erase it. Second, I feel like it's really important to have a calendar that has all the dates, even if you have it in your phone or even in your planner agenda. Um, I feel like it's just, it really helps when you have it written, just like on the wall right in front of you. And I usually put it like right at my desk, so right where I'm doing my work, I can see, oh, I have to do this, I have to do this, you know? And relating to that, the next thing I wanted to mention is a planner. I feel like a planner is so important, regardless of online or not online, a planner is so important. Especially now because of everything being online, you really need a planner. Like, I love planners because you just write down your notes of like, each day oh i need to do this today i have to do this reading i have to do this assignment i have to do this discussion post whatever whatever what i do with my agenda in the beginning of every semester is i get the syllabus for each of my courses that i'm in and just fill out my whole agenda with all the dates and everything for the whole semester like from now until january fill everything out so you know when everything's due because when you don't do that 
it's a mess trust me the next thing on my list are headphones most people already have headphones but i would say make sure you invest in like good headphones just because you're going to be online and a lot of you guys are going to be living with your new roommates or whatever and to focus you're probably going to need some headphones just to keep you like zoned into your work obviously if you're living with a lot of people it can be noisy whatever it is it's just good to have a pair of headphones so that when it's time for you to study you can just pop them in and focus so i feel like headphones are really important the next thing i put is a binder because i feel like people are confused on whether they need to get binders or notebooks because they're not going to be in class taking notes i feel like notebooks are definitely essential regardless you just need a notebook i just get one binder and then use it for all of my courses and then just have a divider for each of the things and then i just put my sheets in there because you're gonna be printing out a lot of stuff probably and it's not fun to look at your computer for everything like for readings and for like assignment outlines like sometimes it's nice to just have things in paper and like printed so i would recommend having a binder so you can put all your printed stuff in there next we have a bag this is where like the confusion comes in because it's like oh it's online do i need this do i not need this i personally think you definitely need a backpack or a bag or whatever because one you're definitely going to be going to public spaces to study still like i don't know if the libraries are open but let's say you want to go to the library or let's say you want to go to where else do people study starbucks or you, you want to go somewhere but like let's say you just didn't bring a bag because you assumed oh i don't need a bag i'm online and now look at yourself you have to carry all your books in your hand like this no bring a backpack bring a bag whatever i always switch between my backpack and my bag depending on how much stuff is in my bag because i feel like if it's just my laptop and like one thing i just use my purse because it's cuter but if I'm carrying like a bunch of books and stuff, I will use my backpack because I don't want to be lugging around on my shoulder. But just regardless, make sure you have a bag. Sticky notes. Um, I feel like sticky notes are just essential in general during the school year. But of course, as I said like 10 million times, especially now, I feel like sticky notes are really good for reminders. I use them for reminders. So like I'll put my laptop sticky notes. I put the little digital sticky notes, but also I put physical sticky notes on my laptop sometimes. But I feel like it's really good for reminders. And I feel like you need as many reminders as possible. So have your calendar on your phone, have your calendar, like your physical big calendar, have your planner, and then also have sticky notes that remind you, oh my God, I need to do this. Like put it random places. Like I would usually put it around my desk. I can't wait. I'm like kind of excited. This is going to be so interesting. Like I obviously I'm not excited, excited because it's terrible. Like I don't want to do online classes. But, like, this is going to be so interesting because we're all doing this for the first time together. Like, this has never been a thing before. I don't know. I'm going to have to be doing a lot of, like, productive week in my life, school, whatever videos because I feel like that'll help keep me on track. And hopefully, maybe it'll help keep you guys on track, too. Next, I would say, obviously, have your masks and have your hand sanitizers because even though you're going to be online, you're going to be going out a lot still. Like, come on. You're, especially if it's your first year in university, like, you guys are still going to be going out. So I'm not saying like going out partying, I'm just saying like going out in general. So you're definitely gonna have to have a mask, like wherever you go now, it's literally mandatory to have a mask. Tell me why today I literally walked into Shoppers Drug Mart with no mask on and I didn't even notice I didn't have a mask. It wasn't until I started seeing everybody wearing a mask where I was like, oh my God, I'm not wearing a mask. The next thing on my list is just to invest in some cute track suits. Obviously, you're online, you don't have to like worry about looking cute and everything, but at the same time, I'm not saying wearing jeans and like some nice top, but that's why I said track suits especially, those make you feel cute, but also you're really comfortable. Like you wanna be as comfortable as possible because you're still doing work and stuff, you're gonna be home. But also make it a little cute. And where I think it has good tracksuits, Walmart. Pretty Little Thing has some good ones. Shein. I have an order from them. But I kind of wanted to and do a video on it. Boohoo. I just placed an order from Boohoo to get some cute little back to school stuff. So that try on haul will be coming for back to school. But like Boohoo has some cute ones. Just get a couple cute tracksuits. And then the last thing. I got this from some other girls video. And I didn't even know these were a thing. But blue light glasses. I'm going to have to buy some. Like I'm going to order some probably today or something. But basically they're just for the computer because we're going to be spending a lot of time obviously looking at the computers and looking at a screen and it's really bad for your eyesight obviously but i didn't realize they had glasses for people who didn't wear glasses i didn't know that was a thing so apparently those are really good to protect your eyesight but thank you to her i don't remember your name but thank you that is it for this video hopefully that helps you guys with this upcoming school year and all the essentials you guys need to get i'm going back to school shopping tomorrow so 
I'm gonna vlog or do a supplies haul for you guys so you guys can see the stuff I got. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video every single week, sometimes twice a week. And make sure to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!